Thank you for joining us in our virtual Cardinal Commit Parent Session. I also thank you for the support you are showing your student by taking time to engage in this event. We believe that every student benefits from encouragement and support, not only from his or her community of friends and family, but also from the campus community and specifically from our faculty and staff. Gadsden State is committed to providing an encouraging and supportive environment for our students. I want to mention several areas that are available to your student and to discuss other ways that you can help support your student as he or she transitions to college life. There are multiple offices that you may already have some experience with. The first is the Admissions and Records Office. This office is the location that receives most of the paperwork from your students. The admissions application, maybe the transcripts from the high school, uh, maybe there are other documents that he or she's been requested to submit to, to the admissions office. Probably if you're at this point, most of that has already been complete. However, your student still may need to visit the admissions office or the records office to change a major or maybe to request transcripts be sent for either employment or for transfer purposes. The second office is financial aid. You hopefully have already had some experience with them as well. Uh, this is the office that receives all of the financial aid paperwork that you may have submitted, including the results from the FAFSA that we hope everyone has filled out. You can complete all of your financial aid paperwork through the financial aid office. Most of their services are available online. They also house all of our scholarships that are offered in-house. And Ms. Kathy Higgs, our scholarship coordinator, is someone that you will correspond with for any scholarship purposes. Our financial aid office also offers a work-study program through federal and state aid programs. So if, you are, uh, if your student is interested in maybe working while he or she is on campus at Gadsden State, we encourage you to inquire about work-study in the financial aid office. A third office is the business office. Now, I tease and say, this is the office that takes all of your money. This is where you or your student will go and pay all of your tuition and fees for the upcoming semester. The business office also operates all of our third-party scholarship programs. Those are the scholarships that are offered to students from institutions or organizations outside of Gadsden State. Our business office also operates a tuition payment plan. You may receive additional information about this opportunity. It's called NailNet. You can access the tuition payment plan through the student's self-service banner account. As a parent, I'm sure that the safety and security of your student while they're with us is very important to you. It's also very important to us. We do have on-campus security 24-7 who's here to make sure our students are safe and well taken care of while they're on campus. Our security office also is responsible for issuing our hang tags. All students must have their vehicle registered on campus and must receive a hang tag. But this is a free hang tag and free parking for our students. Our safety and security office is also in charge of all of our crime statistics and our statistics reports. And you may be interested in seeing those. I occasionally have parents who ask about those. Um, you'll see the reports and they're similar to this. We have our annual safety and security report that is available on the campus safety and security link through the Gadsden State homepage. Now I've talked about several of the offices, but I want to talk a little bit more about the other support services for your student once they're on campus. You may have already heard from me uh, when I spoke to students previously about the ARC, the Advisement Resource Center. We're really excited that we have the opportunity to provide additional services to students when they're on campus. We serve as secondary advisors, specifically to students who are enrolled in developmental courses or those who are identified as being at risk by our faculty. But we really help a number of students outside of just that select group. We also provide transfer information to students. We coordinate all of our four-year college visits. We house the four-year college transfer information in our office. And we help connect students to those uh, different four-year institutions if he or she's interested in transferring. We also encourage students to get a STARS guide. This is an articulation agreement that is, that is a contract between the student at Gadsden State and a four-year institution. Once a student knows exactly where he or she wants to transfer and knows what he or she wants to major in, a STARS guide can be a great help to make sure that he or she gets the appropriate courses while they're here at Gadsden State. 
Now, I imagine that you as parents are very interested in making sure your student gets exactly the classes that he or she needs without wasting time or money. That's our goal as well, and we want to help students to facilitate that connection with the four-year schools to ensure that. We also help students connect to social organizations when that need arises. Many of our students have other outside obstacles that maybe impact their academic performance. We want to help students to overcome or at least to be able to connect with organizations that can help students overcome those obstacles. In addition to those areas, we also uh, provide a number of workshops each year and those are both for academic skill enhancement as well as social service enhancement. Uh, so we hope that your students will participate in some of our workshops that we offer throughout the year. We do expect that we will be doing more of those virtually, so be sure and ask your student to look for those announcements on Blackboard. While students are with us, we're very interested in making sure they're preparing for future careers. Maybe that's to help them prepare for a career as soon as they leave Gadsden State, or maybe it's to help them prepare to transfer on and then have a career afterwards. Our Career Services Office offers assistance with resumes, interviews, and can help connect students to both full-time and part-time employment while they're here at Gadsden State. Additionally, our Career Service is very uh, instrumental in our FANG program that we offer, and we have a few students who participate in that manufacturing program uh, through our technical division. The Cardinal Tutoring Center offers both peer tutoring and embedded tutors in specific classes. They offer both online tutoring as well as in-person tutoring, and we want to work both in the art and in some of our other offices to connect students with those tutoring opportunities. We also offer a Student Support Services program at Gadsden State, and I encourage you to ask your students about Student Support Services. That particular program is a federally funded grant program that provides additional support to students who are part of that program. The students have to complete an application for the program and be accepted into the, to it, but the Student Support Services program provides advisement, they provide workshops, they have cultural activities, and they also have free tutoring and a computer lab with free printing. Those are some great benefits for students and I encourage every student to inquire about student support services. So again, please ask your students to ask about that when they're on one of our lo uh, campus locations. Or, again, email us or call us. We're happy to share information. The Office of Disability Services and Resources is a very important office for many of our students as well. This is our ADA office. Students who may need extra accommodations while they're on campus to help level the playing field may request those accommodations through the ADA office. Uh, now, the documentation may be a little bit different than what was required in high school, so you should be prepared for that, but Ms. Pam Flower, ADA coordinator, can help you navigate that process. Now, I do want to point out that the student needs to make the contact with the ADA office. We, we cannot uh, discuss those types of issues with parents, and we really do want the student to be the one initiating that contact. But we're, we certainly want to make sure that your student has a level playing field while they're here at Gadsden State and has every opportunity to excel. Advisement is a very valuable part of the college experience. All of our full-time faculty members do serve as advisors here at Gadsden State, and they are the experts in their particular fields of study. So we're hoping that our students can connect early on with those faculty members to ensure that those students are getting the best advice possible about the career fields in a particular program of study or maybe the specific courses that are best to be taken for that program of study. In addition to the offices that provide support for students, I want to talk a little bit about how you as a parent may want to support your particular student. Student independence uh, is very important as they're in this process, as they are uh, matriculating to college and, and starting kind of a different phase of life. And we encourage you to, of course, support your student. We hope that you will support and, and encourage them. Maybe even come on campus with them uh, the first time or two. But we also hope that you will help to encourage and uh, foster that independence of your particular student. Encourage them to come and talk to us. 
um, have an open conversation with us so we can discuss that student's career goals, aspirations, and maybe uh, provide some additional direction as they navigate this process. We are under the Federal Educational Rights and Privacy Act regulations. We are not allowed to share a lot of information with parents without the specific consent or without the presence of the student. So we hope that you as a parent will encourage your student to talk with us and then hope, hopefully you'll be able to have that open relationship with your student and get the information you need because we are very limited on what we can tell you. Now I have parents who regularly say, hey, but I pay the bills. I'm the one who's paying for this tuition. I should be able to get the information. But unfortunately, we can't share a lot of that directly with you, but we certainly wanna talk with your student and encourage that student to then share it with you as the parent. The students are gonna be required to think a little bit differently, maybe about time management than what they did in high school. The classes, class schedule's a little bit different than maybe it was in high school, and it's gonna be certainly a change. They're not gonna have bells ringing in the hallway telling them when to show up in class or when it's time to leave. And our faculty may not always remind them every single day about what's coming up next and a due date for that next project. We expect and encourage our students to pay attention to that syllabus, pay attention to the deadlines that are given so that the student knows when that, those items are gonna be due and when the next test is coming up. And so he or she is, is prepared. That's also typically a little bit different than what they may have experienced in high school. So we want to encourage our students to manage their time wisely, and we hope that you will also encourage them to manage their time wisely to make sure they're putting in enough outside study time into their coursework. We want to thank you for trusting us with your student. This is something that we certainly do not take lightly. Your student's well-being is a top priority while they are with us. We appreciate the trust that you and your student have placed in Gadsden State as they're working for those academic and career goals. And we just want to thank you for choosing to be part of the Gadsden State family.